let's jump into the game. I'm just gonna do the um, control here. It's gonna be there and there. All right, cool. So the new challenger against Fire Cake is LTI from Mice Control. He's playing Protoss up in the uh, top right corner. And in the top left we have Vega Squadron's Fire Cake. Once again, and the question is, can Fire Cake finish off another player and make this a tie? Well, I think this map is really, really good for Swarm Hosts, and Fire Cake is really, really good at Swarm Hosts, so... I think Fire Cake has a really, really good chance. If, if he goes for that style, because I know he's so familiar with it, and this map is so good for it. Well, you do, you do like that style, so why not? All right, so nothing fishy going on here. We're going into the, um, there's the probe that's going to be the spawning pool. There's going to build, uh, let's see here, one more, no, sorry, the drone, one more drone. Then they're going to be, oh, sorry, two more drones. I'm going to be heading into a another hatchery. Yeah, that was a um, port pool, and he also scouts his main base. Yeah. So it's very safe from fire cake, but I mean, that's nice. Yeah, why not? You know, better safe than sorry. And if there were a pylon there or a cannon and whatever, then you can just react to it. So, so that's really, really safe. I like that. Yeah. Especially now, you know, there's so much at stake here. Farky can he has he don't afford to actually take a chance. He must play yeah. straight up and win. Indeed. And uh, now it's up to uh, LTI. It's going to be interesting to see exactly how uh, how how his play style is. Yeah, he makes a sellout. Uh, we'll see if he cancels it or not. I think he's going to cancel it because he's getting a spam. Yeah. Up. So Actually, he's going out with the probe. No, he's going back. No, okay. he, he just... Nope, going back. And, and he did cancel the sellout. Yeah, he did cancel the sellout. So that's, uh, that, that was a good thing. So, it's... Oh my god, Yogmark. Thumbs up for me. You recognize the game. Red Alert. Yeah. I, uh, I heard a lot about Red Alert, but I never played it. I never got the chance. That was really cool. There were a cool storyline. It had videos and stuff in it, so that, that was really... <laughs> it had videos and stuff in it. <laughs> uh, you're old. Alright. So... Uh, scouting about LTI, just checking out everything with this drone is not taking probe he's not taking any chances he's going the long way around so he's gonna place that pylon probably pretty close down at the uh, lower base or between them somewhere hide it a bit and see um, see if he can do something with he that. barely misses fire cakes overlord <laughs> that's pretty nice or actually maybe he saw no i don't think so i think it was exactly the same just down here i think he went over this uh, uh this ridge here at the bottom, so I, I think I Fire Cake going for a uh, third queen for the expand, mm. so he gets his screw spread up a little bit faster. I like that. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, now the pylon is coming up there, the uh, proxy pylon. Awesome placement there, really close to the third base, uh, making it really hard to defend. Yeah, this is a four gate, so this is like huge pressure. Mm. It's not like a three gate, it's a lot more committal, uh, can do a lot of damage. He is uh, probing behind it though, but what a lot of process do is that they just stop uh, probing at 16 and then they go like all in with it. Yeah. Which is also pretty strong. Frank is, uh, is playing quite safe here, but still, the third base, it's it's in trouble. I, I see it's danger. It is indeed. He doesn't have roaches in time, I don't think he can defend us at all. He doesn't have speed, I think. So. Behind this, LTI is going for Stargate. I think there's no way for a fire cake to hold. Or we'll see. Yeah, now there's the warp in and he really needs to cancel that now. Unless nope. Oh, he lets it he's not cancelling it. That's ballsy. <laughs> yeah. See but what I don't he can think actually it, do here. I don't think it's the good type of ballsy dude. Nope. I think this is going to die. Zerglings are going in and see if they actually can do anything against this. He can it's just recall. He can recall now. Yep. He does. He loses. Wow. Oh, that that one spike from the uh, that one shot from the queen went across the entire map to shoot <laughs> That was pretty freaking cool. 
Alright, so um, we can see that Firecake actually is um, is actually 250 minerals uh, below LTI. Not that much, but it's... Firecake it's has three overlords here. Three overlords that's gonna die to this phoenix. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> nope. It's the yearly Overlord hunt. The phoenixes are going out and we'll try to actually kill all of them. I feel that Overlord like speed a... would be a good investment. He might be able to save one. It depends. Oh, I don't. I think it would have been too late, but uh, it's more like the minutely Overlord hunt. Come, like considering how many games there are on that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Sporklars are going out to just be able to defend for everything. There's a lot of static defenses here for Firecake, I like that. I think this is the beginning of the uh, <laughs> Firecake style. Yeah, there it is. There's the Infestation Pit. This is going to happen. <laughs> we might have a very long game here. Ladies and gentlemen, bring your pillows, bring your uh, cup of tea, bring your, I don't know, a bottle of water. Bring your, bed. bring your bed to the to uh, the screen. This is gonna be a long game. Yep. Well, it depends. If uh, LTI actually can finish it in the next three minutes, then it's not gonna be a long game. But that, that's well, he he's there. putting out an expand. This is gonna be a macro <laughs> type of play. So. Oh yeah, right. And uh, Frankie actually spots this. And phoenixes are patrolling the map. There's nothing coming through here. No aggression, nothing. So he needs to scout these swarm hosts. He really does. The question is, will he? He isn't getting the upgrade though for locusts. Does he actually see? Uh, he's I don't think he has spotted the. Uh... It doesn't really feel like a fake either, because he isn't putting it out to show that, yeah, I am going swarm house. So. No, he hasn't seen the uh, infestation pit. Okay, so. there it started. It was just a little bit late. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's been interesting to see the reaction from LTI when he notices the sw swarm host are just moving across the map. I'm like, hello! Thanks. Also, I have to compliment Firecake's uh, crypt, but it's been, like, really... <laughs> Really good. It's 11 minutes and it's all way, it's already halfway across the map. It's been very, very, very efficient. Yep. But it is so important with the creep spread when you are going to field swarm hose. Yeah, it is very important. Alright. Queen getting pick up here. Really, really nice. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a small thing, but still everything counts. So we'll see. The third base is now up and fully set rated almost here for Firecake. The third base is up also for LTI. The fourth base are going up now for Firecake, which he really, really needs. And wow, a lot of Overlords actually dying here. There's no defenses here. There's one spore, but it's not nearly enough. So missed rally there for Firecake. Lost yeah, four of them. It's just a little bit sloppy. I think when. Um LTI recognizes that this is like Swarmer's play, he should instantly take a fourth base. Hmm. Oh, I think one Phoenix there got intercepted by these Corruptors. Which is a little bit of a loss, but it doesn't really matter because the Phoenix are not really that important units. Like At this point, he isn't really gonna pick off anything important. It's more for like scouting and map presence. Like, Yeah. He see that is nothing really scary in the air, or, or else they would go for the uh, pulse crystal, so it gives him that vital range upgrade. Yeah, indeed. But now, yes, you were right. Here they are. The first wormholes are now popping out and moving across the map. <laughs> mm. Oh man, it's gonna be fun to see. He needs a bit more static defenses to be able to move forward here, but... This will hit the third base in quite perfect time. There are two Colossus out. There are a Void Ray, but there's not much else there. A few Stalkers, but they won't be able to withstand this. And uh, these Corruptors will actually keep everything away from the Swarm Host. Yeah, uh, this Stalker heavy composition is not good, but 
versus what Fire Kick has. He needs a lot more important units, like he needs a lot more Storms and Colossus and Tempests and whatnot. You know, those yep. like late game units that actually work versus this composition, because there he loses one Stalker, two in the orange, and... Uh, this composition is really bad versus what Fire Kick is doing. Yeah, something needs to change. The uh, level 3 ground weapons is uh, being upgraded right now uh, for LTI, whereas uh, Fire Cake is working on level 2 and it's almost done, so... The ground upgrades doesn't really matter that much though, because no. the only ground units you will have is like Colossus and the Storm, which are the only important units. And like maybe cells for run buys, but it's more about the surprise factor and the positioning factor than it is about the DPS factor, so... Yep. More low cost are moving across the map. They are don't they don't have the range to actually do anything to the base, but that will soon change. And a lot of queens just waiting here to intercept everything. <laughs> I also like uh, fire kicks, cocky expander. Um, oh, actually, well now he moves out. Uh, he loses one void ray. This is not good for LTI, but he does blink forward and takes out three corruptors. Oh wow! Oh, all these swarm hosts. He's gonna lose the Oh all. no! Or not? But the question is, does he have an. I don't think Protoss has enough units! Oh, this is gonna be oh, hard. Gonna this, is, this is game. This is game right here. Really I good think. infuses here for. Uh, transfuses, sorry, for the Queens on the Swarm House. So, really good play here by Fire Cake. All of the Colossus are now dead. Just a bunch LTI of Stalkers left. All of his important units. Like. It's gonna be very, very, very hard for him to ever trade efficiently now versus Fire Cake. Especially with Fire Cake having so many bases. Yep. Uh, I don't. The I don't know. Yes. Fire Cake is extremely good right now. He is in the lead in income, a uh, slight bit. They're quite tight in gas. Uh, but at the same time, the unit count, it's, uh, it's a bit of a difference. We're 192 to 142. So that's uh, that is a lot. So hmm, uh, it's hard for LTI to make any units at this point because if he makes like too many classes, then the corruptors will reign supreme. And if he makes too little void race or too much void race, then the locusts will trade too efficiently. So yeah, it's I hard. like that he actually roams with the corruptors. They're not standing still and just hovering. They're moving all over the map. Yeah, that is really nice. At the same time, the uh, fourth base for LTI is just one Locust wave away from being killed Well, one, here. well actually, ro uh, <laughs> roaches came in. Three Roach shots away from being killed. <laughs> well, also, I mean, Firecake is defending all his bases well with Spore Spine, and I, I don't see anything that LTI can do at this point. He's trying to take that uh, gold base, but... There was an Overlord there, Fire Cake knows. Yep. And uh, uh, at the same time, the economy is now in overdrive for Fire Cake. He, he's got the gold expansion, he uh, got the gas income he need, and right now he's maxed. So he just needs to waste a few useful units, and that's gonna be it. Ooh, this trade... I don't know. It's actually going... Well, he loses one, two... Will he lose a third Colossus? No, not really. But I felt like all of the that was that was a good trade by LTI, but really it isn't because any kind of trade that Fire Cake makes at this point is good. Yep. And also a couple of roaches just sneaks in and try to work on the expansion here. Uh, I'm not sure that's gonna work very well, but it's sort of not uh, sort of annoying. And uh, LTI needs to split his force. Oh, so he walked into the. Uh, <laughs> The locust there for a while, that's not good. Nope, that's never good. Wow, so much death. The locust yeah, are actually yeah. pulling back right now. The queens are just waiting here to go in and capture all these units. Oh, he could be trapped here. This could be really bad. Or you can just run past everything. Oh, <laughs> so many queens. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, think wow. this, I think this is the end. Yep. Uh, so much damage is being done right now, and two classes are down. There's just a bunch of stalkers left. Oh, it was a good Jesus. attempt, attempt though, by LTI, but 
I think this gateway heavy style, especially knowing it's fire cake, is not that good. Like, it's better going for, I think, a little bit more of a greedy play, uh, going for more tech heavy units, and trying to establish stuff very fast, I think. Yep, and look at the creep spread. <laughs> fire cake almost at the whole map. Such an amazing creep spread, wow. Yeah, it is. And if going for locusts and swarm hosts is not enough, there are a bunch of ultras in production. So this is going to be the nail in the coffin for this game. There's, I don't think anything that LTI can do right now to save this, salvage this game. Yeah. Also, uh, LTI is making a mothership. Guess why not? <laughs> exactly. Why not? Hey. Oh, he cancels it. Yeah, he sees the characters, but it isn't enough. The Mothership Core still dies. Yep, and uh, now all of these Colossus are gonna die. These Corruptors are gonna take a little bit of damage, but everything is going down and they can just sneak out. I think it lost two or three Corruptors, and there's GG. Yeah, really, really, really solid play from uh, Firecake. It's